What's happening, everybody? It's Matt Faircloth here. Say hey, hi, everyone. There she is. Cool. All right, so we're here at one of our apartment complexes in North Carolina, and uh, I want to show you guys some cool things that we're in the middle of because we're doing some renovations, we're doing stuff to this apartment building that are adding value, and we're doing some things that just you have to do to keep these places up just to stop them from burning, from just falling into the ground. Um, James, by the way, say hi, James. Hi, guys. James. So, uh, James works property management management company and we can get into some cool nuts and bolts about managing properties like this we can get into some cool nuts and bolts about buying a pro buying properties like this whatever you guys want to get into but I got some cool stuff I want to show you guys too including like I said uh, value I think ways to add value and just stuff to do um, say what no. so uh, I first thing I want to show you guys is we're going to do a couple things. I mean, we're going to walk through a burned out unit. Um, Liz is here over. She's fielding your questions from Facebook. For those of you guys watching on uh, watch Facebook Live, she's here you guys, and is going to field your questions if you guys sling them in there. Um, but uh, we're, we're going to tour a burnt out apartment. I got an apartment that had a major fire in it. We're going to go check that out. We're going to tour an apartment that's been renovated and tour an apartment that has not been renovated yet so we can discuss and talk about the difference between the two, right? So the first thing, since we're outside, I want to talk to you guys about, and you wouldn't think that it would add value, is parking lot repair, right? Um, it just, but, but uh, you know, maybe, it's, maybe uh, why would I go invest in like redoing a parking lot? But look, see this shacked up? This is kind of just messed up here. Got some stains, got some asphalt holes and stuff like that, and some cracks, uh, all kinds of just, just bumps and nastiness in the parking lot, just from age, because this is just deterioration. Um, and just this is what happens roofs start to deteriorate, uh, properties start to deteriorate, and parking lots start to deteriorate. So, something that we did for this apartment complex is we had the parking lot resurfaced. And I'll show you guys over here what the resurfacing looked like. Um, and it wasn't a major investment in dollars a unit, but it created a major, major invest. It created a major, major turnaround in what the uh, what the value of the apartment complex looked like. Right. So let me show you over here the difference. The difference in what resurfacing did. So, isn't this cool? They striped it. They filled in all the cracks and everything like that. So. So for those of you that are watching, uh, if uh, if we're not on Facebook Live just yet, you can go ahead and you can go ahead and check it out there. Uh, and if those of you guys are watching on the Bigger Pockets Facebook page, yeah. So go to biggerpockets.com. Or go to go to the, go to biggerpockets.com and check that. So technical difficulties, just making sure that we're live and somebody can see us. So here's the here is the playground that we just put in. I'll get a, I'll get a little closer so you guys can check it out. <coughs> I got people watching here, so I don't know what you guys are talking about. So, um, so here is a playground that we put in, and we ended up uh, it, we put in two. We put in this one and another one that's over on the other side of the complex. They came out really nice. We've got one all the way over there on the other side of the complex. But amenities like this are easy, easy, easy. Like, oh, geez, absolutely, she totally put in a. Uh, Put in a put in a playground. It makes total sense. Why wouldn't we? Um, because people want that. People with kids. You attract families. You attract long-term residents that want to have stuff like that right in their backyard. Um, but things like seal coating the parking lot might not seem like something that you should do, that you want to do, or whatever. But it creates that feeling of newness. It creates a feeling of like you know, geez, this place is actually in nice condition and, you know, it creates that feeling of freshness and everything like that, that, uh, that are good long-term investments in the, in the apartment building too. So let's go check an apartment. Is it, is it showing up on Facebook yet? I don't see it. No? Should you give it a check again? It might be, maybe it's on a delay. Yep. Keep checking it. Cool. See questions, I'm sure my good people at, uh, you might want to just, I'm uh, sure my good people at biggerpockets.com can figure that out right now why we're not seeing it on, uh, on, uh, Facebook, but, um, but maybe it's delayed. That's okay. I'll still chat with you guys. So we're gonna head up. We're gonna head up and check out a burnout right now. This uh, tenant had a fire. We had a fire in their apartment. Um, the whole year, and uh, you know, it start, fire started in their kitchen, and it went throughout the whole apartment. And she was cooking late night, and then fell asleep on her couch. And the fire got away from her, and she called the fire department and. And uh, they came out and put the fire out, but not before it pretty much took out our whole apartment. Uh, so we're going to look at just what damages fire can cause. 
when we're um, when uh, when you have a fire in an apartment like this. Let's check it out. Which one? This one? Yep. Okay, ready? So I haven't seen this yet. So you're gonna see my reaction for the first time too. Ooh, man. Ugh. Let me turn this camera around. Oh boy. I wish there was a smell meter on this thing. She was okay? Yeah. Yes, Tenna was okay. Oh man. There's nothing like the smell of fire. Unfortunately, I've smelled burnt. I've, I've been in burnt properties a few times. You can see the char along the ceilings. You gotta open those shoes on, don't you? Be careful. Oh man. Like I said, this is eerie. Seeing like a kid's room where there was a fire. I mean, just God bless everything. Everybody was okay. The fire department dug into the ceiling a bit because they wanted to make sure the fire hadn't gone up into the attic. Um, and that, thanks, James. So, so the fire started here. Where, where's the actual start point, James? Right here. This is where it, where it all began. That's where it started? Yep. Right and there? It took all the back and just climbed. Climb. You see the chart? Oh, oh man. Two by four. So you can see the burnout wood where it actually came right through here. Okay, so this total, I mean, this, this property needs to get completely gutted all the way down to the studs and start it over and start over again. Yeah, Liz definitely don't walk back. Here's broken glass in okay. here and stuff. Yeah. Liz, are we showing up on Facebook yet? Okay. She left a lot of her clothes here. Yeah. But there's they're, 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 they're smoke damage and all that. They're going to take it and treat it for her. The insurance company will take oh, it, okay. it and bring it back. Oh, okay. How great is that? The insurance company is going to take care of is going to treat her clothes and clean them and give them back to her. Um, I mean, geez, you can see the fire came all the way up the door like this. You could tell that her door was closed as you could see the blood yeah. coming through. I mean, yeah. Jeez. Can you shine the light in that? Yeah. Fire didn't really get into the bathroom too much. But it was all out here. Jeez Louise. Well, see the burn out of the wood. It's your cabinets. It actually, it, it was so hot in here, it actually burnt the uh, covering off of her cabinets. And this all went down here, and this all burnt out as too. Her countertops were all uh, singed. Walls are burnt. See, this is um, it's wood paneling throughout, and so this wood paneling just, just melted right through here. Yeah. Amazing. You can see the microwave melted on the side. Yeah. I mean, obviously, grateful that she got out, which is the most important thing. And then she had renter's insurance, which is going to um, completely pay for the full remodel to bring everything back here. Um, they also rented her a place to live, right? So she's fully covered. Um, and we'll be made. We'll be made whole. She gets. She's getting made whole. That's what insurance is for, right? And she actually moved into a renovated. What are renovated units? Cool. Okay. 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 That's great. So, uh, do we have a renovated or uh, an unrenovated unit here on the? Yes, sir. Uh, downstairs. Yep. Okay. All right. Let's go check that out. So you're you're lying on bigger pockets, not on Facebook. Hmm. Yeah. No, I knew that. Yeah, so but it's supposed, it's supposed to go have them on Facebook too. Ah, maybe later. Maybe it's not, it's not linking over. But that's okay. Maybe it'll go another day. There's no way to um, kill yeah. Christians. Okay. I'm gonna do that. Hi everybody. Got some folks watching. I need to get in take questions in. If you can, just type in. Um, happy to field some questions from you guys. Or I'll just I'll just do all the talking. Yeah. Whatever you want. So I'll show you guys an unrenovated apartment, okay? Um, just so you can see what an apartment like this should look like uh, before we get in and renovate. See, this is it. I mean, seeing a burnt out, a burnout unit is is one thing, but seeing an this is an unrenovated apartment. I'll give you guys. I'll turn you guys a quick tour. Okay, typical kitchen here. Again, upstairs it got so hot it burnt the sheen off of those cabinets there. Um, if we can, I'll show you guys one that we just finished um, that, uh, that's been renovated, uh, that's committed for lease already. Uh, we've been doing really well with the turns. I mean, this is just a dated 
a dated apartment. I'll show you guys a renovated apartment in a second here if I've got time. Uh, so you guys can see what a fully renovated unit looks like and so you can see the difference. We can even talk value that you add to apartments like this, like money that you spend um, to uh, turn these places around, to bring them back, to upgrade them, everything like that. Um, where's the closest reno unit? Across uh, the hallway? Yep, yeah, we could go right across. Okay. This is a, uh, what? This is a one? This is a two bedroom. This is a two. So, um... Any questions so far? Anybody got any questions about it? Or not? You know, it was crazy. You guys saw that. I've seen a few, if you uh, burn out and fire the apartments before, but that was maybe one of the worst ones. Actually, we had a single family home completely burned on with almost 100% destruction in Trenton one time. Uh, so maybe that was worse. Um, so. You want to walk across the hall? Yes. You can leave that open, I guess. Cool. If you guys can, if you can see, there should be a comment bar. I'm leaving a comment. We can do some Q&A. Chat with you guys a bit about apartment buildings. Chat with you guys a bit about... Uh, Hi, Zachary. That's my son. We're on a little bit of a fit. I see you, buddy. We're on a family trip. Come on. Come on. <laughs> That's my four-year-old son. There he is. Ah, here he is. If you don't start educating your kids about this stuff early, guys, then you're going to have to play a lot of catch up later in life. So I brought my four-year-old and my family down here for a mini vacation, but also to go and check on one of our assets and also for an opportunity to teach my four-year-old son a bit about what daddy does. So, wow. Who did this? Mr. James and his people did this. So this is a renovated apartment, right? So. You see these floors, Zachary? Mm -hmm. These floors are from laminate floors and it's really hard for people to hurt them. So they can move stuff and they, can, they look nice, but they're also really strong. So people can have these floors and they look nice and pretty like this for a really long time. Cool, huh? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. So you like it? I like it. Okay, cool. I like it too. <laughs> um, redone kitchen. These are actually refaced cabinets. Pretty much the same cabinets as before. Um, they just got new doors and they've been painted on the outside. So, oh, sorry. Um, just about the same kitchen, just new appliances. Just have a really facelift. Like new appliances, new doors, new countertops across the top here. Same bedroom, just carpet. And we, we stopped the, we, we transitioned from the laminate vinyl tile to carpet going into the bedroom because a lot of people like carpet in the bedroom. It's a major debate that we had. Should we just keep the tile going? It was a few bucks more, maybe worth it. Um, but uh, the feedback that we got from other landlords and from the property manager is that, and from tenants that I've had over the years, is they like to have carpet in their bedroom because they don't want to get out of their bed and have like cold floors on their feet. Um, so they want to have like cushy carpet. That also helps deaden the noise between this and the unit below. Um, so, redone bathroom. Easy for the menu Yeah, 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 okay. What do you think? Good. You like this? Okay. <laughs> So, so that's it, guys. Uh, that is a tool. Oh, we got, I got comments now. Let's see. Let me see if I can answer some questions that you guys may have. This is my first time using live stream. Forgive my tech. I'm so not tech. It's not that I don't understand technology. I'm just not. Oh, Robert Smith. Hi, Matt. Thanks for doing the walkthrough. How many total units do you have in there in that their complex? I love it. Uh, 198 units. Um, it's 198 units over 23 buildings across the complex. Um, so, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, cool. Cool. Thanks, Robert. Uh, thanks for your comment. Um, if anybody else has any other questions, I can go ahead and chat. Are we on Facebook yet? You know, I, I can't, we don't see No, that's okay. It's all right. I don't need to be on Facebook. Where did the question come from? I don't need my, huh? Uh, they came from Bigger Pockets. Oh, okay. Yeah. Came from Robert Smith. Not the lead singer of The Cure. Robert, another Robert Smith. So, see, I, I, I date myself talking about The Cure. And James laughed. That means he's as old as I am. So, 
uh, okay, like we talked about countertops, we talked about light fixtures. Um, anything else you guys want to get into while I'm here? Um, I hope you guys, Robert, did you catch that, the walk through that fire unit? I hope you caught that, and I hope we caught that on, on video. It said that my, um, my uh, footage, my uh, signal was a little light over there, but I hope you guys caught that, because that was crazy. Um, uh, yes, they will. So we're gonna get we're gonna get loss of rents for six months on that damaged unit. They also paid to renovate to relocate that tenant, um, and uh, they then they were gonna pay that tenant's uh, relocation expenses and their uh, you know their startup costs and everything like that. And then they're gonna pay us for renovating that apartment um, and that. So we'll get made whole, uh, which is good. Questions that what read the read the questions because we can't see the questions. Okay. People can't see the questions. This is only in bigger pockets. We were there. We were there. You just read the questions. Okay. I can do that. I can multitask. Not really. Uh, I, I pretend I that think, I can. Um, so, so this is, uh, this is that, and I can, uh, yes, we got it. Thanks for showing. Cool. That was crazy. And I, I've, I've seen a lot of fire damage and that was, that was uh, among the top that I've seen in my past. Um, cool. Questions for my four year old son. There he is. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Yeah. He speaks Mandarin too. Well, I wish I could say that. Um, let's take a look outside. I'll show you guys some landscaping on the outside. The uh, the difference in the exteriors that have happened um, on the property. I showed you guys the seal coating, but another uh, like money that you guys can spend on small rentals or big rentals or whatever is a little bit of landscaping. You don't have to get crazy with it, but just a little bit of landscaping, just to make just to kind of spice pro the outside of your property up, right? So take a look at that. See. Little bit of, little bit of landscaping here, a little bit of landscaping down the line there, just on the outside. Nice little tree on the corner, um, and we also repainted the box. So I can point to it. Repainted the boxes here, the inside and the brick, tr and then the trim and the inside of the brick. We're putting shutters on it right now. Um, I've got some units with shutters on the other side of the complex, um, and I've got uh, just these getting redone here. And with the, it'll be really cool with black shutters on the outside and all this color here. It'll make it really pop and make people make it feel like a home for people to live, you know. So, uh, other Q and A you guys got? Anything else you guys want to get yourself into? Let me see if the shutters are on yet on this side. Show you you guys have the shutter, uh, how with, with shutters, that's another thing. If you guys don't have shutters on your properties, this is a quickie thing. You can get them for like 30 bucks a piece or something like that. There you go. Some that are going in now. So, think some that are getting put on the outside of the windows. Kind of bring the box in. Kind of brings in a lot of the color. I mean, it's not all the way done, but you can see this. And the landscaping there, it all kind of brings it all together. So, um, uh, how are units heated and cooled? Um, these units are heated and cooled. So, this is North Carolina, right? And in North Carolina, um, we can, uh, come on. In North Carolina, you can get away with something called a heat pump. Those are some of the heating and cooling units right there, okay? A heat pump is a 100% electric device. There's no natural gas to the tenant's apartment. It's all electric. But a heat pump only works if it doesn't get too cold because it's hard for a heat pump to keep your apartment warm or to keep your apartment uh, warm in the, in the wintertime. Um, and it'll cost your tenants like 350, 400 bucks a month in, uh, in electric. Oh, did you get a boo-boo? Huh? Show, show everybody on camera how you shake it off when you get a boo-boo. Shake it off, right? See, we don't kiss boo-boos, we shake them off. So, uh, let's see, it's called, how's the deal structured? I'll get, that's a great question. Most users are asking questions on YouTube. I can get to YouTube too. Oh, Liz, pull up YouTube. Pull up Bigger Pockets YouTube page. My wife's watching on Facebook for your questions. Um, we'll get right to that, Robert, thank you. Uh, uh, Troy, is there anything you're planning or can do now to try and avoid possible fires in the future? That's a good question, Troy. So we have actually looked into a device. Do you remember the name of that device um, that sat above the stove that had like a pretty much a, like it's like a mini fire extinguisher that 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 fire was caused because her stove got out of control. I would be willing to bet that at least 50% of the fires come from a stove. The other 50% come from a furnace. It's got to be a heat source. At least more than 50. Um, yeah, cooking cooking mistakes. Are the, I'm going through my fires that we've had in our years of business. Oh, they've almost all been mistakes, yeah. and like one of 
and then cook a steak off of that. Uh, Troy, to your question, there's a device that we're looking into. You can see inside the uh, vent above the stove that uh, when it's a fire, like it, it senses a flame on it, it drops down a bunch of retardant, um, like carbon dioxide stuff that uh, puts out the fire. So we're looking at uh, but uh, that's not something we've all sent. Um, fire stop? Yeah, fire, fire stop. stop. Yeah, it's a little can called Fire Stop. Uh, Robert G., we've been investing in real estate for 13 years full time, and then beyond that, uh, another three. So, bigger pockets, how's the deal structured? Uh, cool. So, the deal, this deal structured like this we bought it with, um, with a mortgage of a bank uh, for around $4 million that also included some renovation, too. Um, then we raised investors uh, that came in and put in equity uh, that bought, you bought shares for everything from like 50,000 all the way up to a couple hundred thousand bucks in equity and they get a percentage of ownership of this complex in exchange for their you know for their capital they put in so we share ownership of this complex with a big swath of investors that own it alongside us uh, it's a really cool uh, arrangement because we help people um, we help people get you know build their wealth while we, you know, are able to play the lead on these apartment buildings too. Um, so, uh, I'm gonna walk around a little bit. Uh, let's see. Liz, were you able to pull up the YouTube page? I'm working on it. So, cool, let's see. Oh, what, much more landscaping around the outside here. This is all really small, but it's gonna come in, it's gonna come in more and more plush. As it um, as it grows, you kind of want to put the smaller plants and let them uh, uh, drop roots and get bigger. Um, it's also most effective that way. Um, so I hope my uh, it keeps telling me my connection's bad um, that I have a, that I have a poor connection. Hopefully that, come, that comes in a little bit better. And Matt, you know, these two roofs are done. So if you could, you could probably oh, those are is that roof done? That's an old roof, and this is a new roof. Oh, okay. So, so that's okay. Cool. Um, Cool. Read, some, read the questions off of YouTube because somebody just said all the questions are on YouTube, not over here on Bigger Pockets. That's okay though. So that's a new roof, or that's an old roof, and this is a new roof, right? Okay. These two buildings are new. Let's go check these out. Uh, we also, oh yeah, you can actually see that that roof over there is new. See it? Uh, that's a brand new roof. And again, roof replacement is not something that's going to put any money in your pocket, but kind of like recoding the parking lot or the recording the parking lot might be perceived as nice and new and fresh to new tenants. Recoding a roof is something, or redoing a roof is something you just have to do to preserve your assets. So we're eventually planning on replacing all 23 of these roofs as we go, but we're gonna be putting most of our money into redoing apartments first, and then secondary, um, replacing roofs and stuff like that behind it, so. Um, you watching it live, is it live on YouTube? I don't know if it's live, I have no idea. Okay. Know that. My wife's not the most techie, but we love her. That's okay. So, oh man. Oh, well, chat, here we go. There we go, we're in the chat bar. Cool. Okay, you want a couple questions? Sure, fire them off. These are um, some questions off our, off of a Bigger Pockets YouTube page. What, what kind of countertops did you put in the renovated apartment? Oh, we put, those weren't, gran those were granite looking countertops. So, uh, who, uh, who asked that? So I can give them a shout out. Oh, um, Ronnie. Ronnie, those were granite looking for mica countertops. Um, I, I rarely put granite in any of my units uh, unless there's a possibility I might sell it in the future. Um, I've got a few landlord buddies that will put granite in a rental. I, I get that, it, you know, that there's an argument whether or not it might make you more rent or might get you a tenant faster, but I just think that, that granite has a higher propensity for a tenant to damage it so we don't put granite. Um, so those are uh, granite looking for mica countertops. Are you in Reedsville? No, I'm in Fayetteville. Ooh. Another Ville, the other Ville. Who has that? Uh, Colette. Colette? Ooh. Colette, we're in Fayetteville. Um, so I, uh, I, what was the total renovation cost? It was $1.7 million, uh, believe it or not. It sounds like a lot of money, but, but in dollars per unit is not that much. That's the fire extinguisher. Let's not play with that too much. Look at my son. 
freaking banshee. He's about to play with the fire extinguisher on the wall over there. God love him. Um, what book? This is a good one. What book would you recommend that will teach you what you have done? So, okay, it depends on what you're talking about. And I'm gonna totally shameless plug my own book that I just wrote for Bigger Pockets because I just finished a book for Bigger Pockets. It comes out in a month called Raising Private Capital. And it is a book that comes out July 26th and it is on how to raise money. And I talk a bit about apartment building deals. I talk about this deal. I talk about a few other, um, a few other facets of, of, uh, of, of real estate, but mostly that book is on raising money. Uh, if you wanna talk, if you wanna talk about um, just doing apartment building deals, Ken McElroy has a book out uh, through Robert Kiyosaki that's on multifamily investing that you guys should check out. That's a good starter book too. Um, so, uh, Robert G, do you recommend multifamily or single investor, single for first time investors? What I recommend, Robert, is that you build some sort of a track record, whatever you're comfortable with. I don't recommend you go and try and buy a 198 unit apartment building or anything anywhere near the fraction of this place when you first get started. Uh, I'm not one of the run to the back of the room guru dudes that think that, um, that oh, you can invest in multifamily with no money down and no experience and everything like that. It's BS, I don't believe it. Uh, I, I think that, that they're probably just trying to sell you a course at that point, um, but I think the truth of the matter is you need to cut your teeth and get some experience for people to believe in you that they wanna invest with you and for you to have people that, that, just for you to learn enough about this business that you're not gonna make a mistake with other people's money or with your money for that matter. So I would start a little smaller, whether it's single or small multi, whatever. Um, if, you can, if you can swing it with your life arrangement, do a house hack first, live in a rental, and then slowly build up from there. Um, that's, that's what I highly recommend for your, uh, for your, as you get started. So, any other YouTubers? No, I don't think so. I, I, I'm not sure if that page, I don't know what happened. Okay. I got, uh, David Morgan. What does this say? Was this deal a syndication with a bank loan? How do investors get a, get in on syndication deals? So, um, so yes, it was a syndication. Um, and we filed it with, we filed a registration with the SEC. Um, and, uh, how do investors get in? I mean, if so, if you, if somebody's a limited, like a uh, wants to be a, um, a, uh, a a a passive investor in a syndication, there's a lot of opportunities. I would just surf bigger pockets, find somebody who's got a track record uh, that's doing deals that uh, that you might want to get yourself into. So you can surf BP, try and find somebody who's you know got opportunities that might sound good to you. Uh, it's not like simple to find, and you also got to make sure you trust the person. Um, but uh, but but you know, with regards to if you want to assemble syndications. You know, you can check out my book, Raising Private Capital, that comes that comes out with bigger pockets. Or uh, there's a plenty, there's a few other books. I think Joe Fairless has a book on that too. Invest um, her member here. Shout out to Liz. What? You know what? Should I just give you the camera? No. Yeah. No. Cool. Talk about yeah, so you mean the real estate investor show? Cool. There you go. Invest her member. Shout out to Liz. Let me just for Sandra here. Give Sandra some love. Thank okay? you, Sandra. Uh, you know what? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm married to a star over here. Oh, yeah. There she is. <laughs> Question, you guys can shout out questions for Liz too, by the way. Um, thanks, John. Uh, John said, Matt looks awesome. I appreciate you. Um, but uh, And if you guys have questions for Liz, I can reel her in to be more on the camera too. No problem. I don't see any more questions. Yeah. No more questions on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Pump out questions on YouTube on biggerpockets.com. Guys, whatever you want. I'll be on. Uh, I'll be on for another. I'll stick around for another couple minutes. Uh, if you guys want to ask a few more, we can talk about apartment buildings, raising money, uh, whatever you guys want to get into. Talk about raising kids. On. Uh, talk about the, the, what you did on the outside of the building. The trim bot. Yeah, the trim. We talked about it briefly. I'll talk about it again. Um, so here's the, more on the exterior of the properties. I wish I could show you guys a before picture of those buildings. Right? Do you remember the before, Liz? They were just all like a big. They look all brown. What do you got? Liz is laughing. Which means no, Liz has laughing. a funny question. What do you got? Claudette, Claudette said hello to you both. She's beautiful. Well, you're Claudette. I love you. Um, but you said, how is it Don't being married? Don't let it go to your head. How is it being married to an entrepreneur? So, um, so, <laughs> it's, so it's interesting, Claudette. You know, I think um, so. The question was, how is it ma being married to an entrepreneur? When we when we started investing together, we I'm sorry. When we started investing, and when he started investing, we did it together. So he never had to enroll me. Really, we still do it together. You never really. Oh yeah, no, no. I, that's what like I mean. That. Is though, like yeah. we started the business together, and we also started investing together. So it was never like he had to convince me, or I had to convince him. Um, I actually got him to read Rich Dad Poor Dad. Yep. Uh, so, but but you know, that's a great she question. She started it. No, that's a great question though. When you are working with your spouse. 
or you know, you're trying to enroll your spouse, someone's a little more entrepreneurial than the other one. I think, uh, you know, there's different strategies, there's different things you want to do, but you know, you always want to kind of share what you're up to or share your goals with one another. And ideally, you, you know, doing it together is always the best because we share the same values. Mm. Uh, we, we're, we know, we it's were the both. most important part about it. And the yeah. biggest thing is that you have the <coughs> entrepreneurs, you know, that you don't get paid immediately. You might get paid later. No. Um, you know, as we look at this building, you know, this building's in transition. It's not like uh, this cash flow coming in from this building yet for, for us or anyone. So, you know, 61% occupied right now. Yeah. So, so, but you know (laughs) that you're doing, you're putting value in as you know, in terms of being a couple and you're going to get value out later, but we share similar values. So it makes it easier if that answers your question. Yeah. It's about having common values. I I absolutely think that's one of the most important things. And when you and I got married, we were clear that we were both on the same page with regards to values and entrepreneurial minds and stuff. That was a good one. What else you got? What else I got? Yeah. I'm looking. Um, my brother has his license. Please. Robert Smith. Uh, Robert Smith's got a question. Do you iterate? Well, uh, do you iterate? Do you renovate the units as the tenants move out, or do you terminate the leases and move them onto a, a onto another unit? So how are you coordinating that? All right. So I got Robert Smith question real quick. So Robert, what we're doing is we've got uh, tenants from month to month leases. Or a lot of tenants from month to month leases. And when if they're on a year lease, when the lease does come up, uh, what we're doing is we're giving them a couple of options. You can either move out of the complex and move to somewhere else, or you can apply to live in a renovated apartment. Um, and the, the rent for a renovated apartment is roughly 150 to 200 bucks more per month than what they're paying right now for an unrenovated unit. So by that strategy, in about a year, year and a half, we will have turned the, empi- the entire complex because we're requiring existing tenants to move or they can to move to a new unit or move out, whichever one they want. Um, and the, our strategy is to renovate the entire complex because that increases the NOI for the whole complex and allows us to refinance the property, which is what our plan is in year two. We're going to refinance in year two on all, on those new rents and return a bunch of investor capital at that point. So I know I said a lot there, but... Uh, uh, there's another one here. Would you... What's the name of your book? Name Maryland, of the book... Marilyn, what's the name? Marilyn. Now you have to buy it because you want to know the name of it. The name of the book is Raising Private Capital, and it's through Bigger Pockets, and it comes out July 26. Put it in your calendar, Marilyn. July 26. Please buy it. Uh, and then it says, Would you invest in solar panels for your apartments? Interesting question. So, uh, Mar- who is that? Marilyn also? No, that's Art. 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 Um, Sorry. You know what you call a guy with no arms and no logs hanging on the wall? Art. Yeah. Cool. Uh, all right, Art. Uh, here's what we got. I, I got a, I got a million corny jokes. Keep me just uh, don't get me going. Um, so here's what we got art. These buildings do not have very much going on with regards to landlord electric expenses. So if like that building right there, I'm point to it. That building right there, all the electricity is on the tenants. The exterior lighting around their doors, the uh, the interior lighting, of course, in their apartments. There's no landlord meter. Um, on the uh, on on that property, so I would not do solar because there's not enough landlord stuff that I could fund with solar. But I've looked at it for I've got an office building that we pay the electricity for the whole complex. We're looking at solar strongly for that. Depends on the state you're in because each state has different incentive programs. So I would look at your state first because I find that those incentives that the states offer are kind of what make or break solar. David Morgan, are there any local or city codes that specific on this deal? Any we run into really the local municipality very much. North Carolina is very, very landlord friendly, uh, very, very municipal friendly and stuff like that. So we haven't run into much at all uh, in Nor- with North Carolina. I know other states, other uh, states and municipalities can be very different. Um, hey, a couple more questions. Does sure, it bring it on. Does it matter? This is, there's no name, S-D-O-T, King 6. Does it matter if the loan, if the loan for investments in both married names or should you just use one credit? We want to get our house later and don't want any issues. Huh. Interesting. Um, if you could afford the loan on one of your spouse's credits and their, uh, I would say do it. Do the loan on one spouse um, and then put the, put the next loan on the other spouse. You can't do that forever. Um, but in the beginning for just getting started, maybe like for a house hack or something like that, do uh, do the first one on the, on the first spouse and then switch it to the next one on the next deal. Good question. Um, and then the other question is with regards to you and I... Um, is it a... Uh, is he going to put you on camera again, huh? Okay. Are you a single or multi-member <laughs> LLC? Is our LLC that we started 
single member or multi member. It's multi member. It's you and me. Yeah, and, yeah, and yeah. for the record, I'm 51% owner. Oh, you little bit. Uh, I got to keep her happy. Just in case now. I leave them, you know. I got to keep her happy. Fifty-one, <laughs> man. That, that, that one percent's a big difference. Um, That's the only I know I you're just joking. Um, so, uh, so yeah, yeah. Uh, Single-member LLCs are interesting. We don't use them very often because most of the time that we invest in deals, we have uh, money partners or private equity partners that invest in deals with us. So I have to give them a little bit of ownership. So we rarely use single-member entities, but I know some people do just for a um, so just for a level to protect them. How many hours a week do you work? I don't know. Not enough? Too much? I don't know. Hardly working? It depends on the week, Robert. And that's what's great about being an entrepreneur is that some weeks I work, some weeks I don't uh, very much. Like right now, I'm kind of sort of working, but tomorrow I'm going to take my kids to an amusement park. Um, and, but but today... Night, before the um, trip, you were working till 11 o'clock. Yeah, but yesterday, I, but the, before the trip, I, I worked till 11 o'clock the night before. Um, so it's kind of hit or miss. I mean, I, it's hard to say how many hours you put in, but what I'd say about it being an entrepreneur, That's you true. own your time. And owning your time means doing whatever it takes to get the job done and to, and to accomplish your goals, but also right. maybe not having to work on a Tuesday afternoon if you don't want to, yeah. you know? So that's what it is. It's not about working less. It's about owning the time. So um, that's, I think we should wrap it up. I'm getting, I probably got hungry kids I got to take care of over here and we got to move on to the next venture and stuff like that. You guys are awesome. Don't forget to check out my book, Bigger at, at um, uh, raising private money is when it's going to come out and I'm teaching a webinar for bigger pockets next Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern on on doing deals with other people's money so be sure to check that out too so uh, you guys are awesome thank you for watching thank you YouTube this makes it onto Facebook thank you folks for checking it out on Facebook too high five say bye Liz bye, bye. <laughs> see you guys have a great